Praise God, and welcome back to the second half hour of Nightline. Uh, I am your host, Nathan Blam. Uh, I tell you, we just had a wonderful testimony that was shared with us by Sybil Smith. Uh, it was such a blessing to to hear uh, what she had overcome. Uh, and I tell you what, you know, I want to I want to jump right into this scripture because after hearing that testimony, this was such the perfect scripture for tonight. If you were with us during that first hour, I want you just to uh, listen to Psalm chapter 40, verse 1 through 3, because uh, Miss Smith, I know, can hear this testimony and say, yes, amen, amen, after every word of this, because it's so powerful. It says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear, and shall trust in the Lord. You know, I remember hearing uh, someone tell me secondhand about a minister one time, uh, who was talking about people giving their testimony about how they had, uh, what they had been through and how they had turned back to God. And, and he said, he said, that's great. He said, but why don't people give me any credit? He said, because he said, I, I never turned from God. I've been in church my whole life. And he said, I think that's a powerful testimony. And when I heard that, all I could think about was the prodigal son and the prodigal son's brother. The prodigal son went out into another country. He wanted to be, uh, he left the kingdom of his father, went to be a citizen of another country, while the other son stayed at home the whole time. And when the prodigal son returned, the father put a ring on his finger, which was a symbol of power, put a robe on him, killed the fatted calf, and the brother, who had stayed home and who had been there the whole time and never left, he was jealous and wondered, why is my brother having the fatted calf killed for him when I've been here the whole time? And you know, that always reminds me of religious people. Religious people have been there, but they've never had in a relationship. The prodigal son knew what it was like to be far from God. And Jesus, I think, summed it up really well when he said this. He said, uh, one, man, one man owed 50, uh, 50 uh, pence to a money man, another owed 500. Neither one of them could pay the debt back. So the, 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 the person uh, forgave the debt of both of them. And he asked a question. He said, which one of them loves the most? And they said, I guess the one that was forgiven most. He said, right you are. I understand that so much because I know how far I had been. I know how far away from God I was. And I have been forgiven for so much. And I have so much love. And I, I, I know my sister Sybil can say that he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise it unto our God. When you've been through some stuff and you've had some hard times and God has brought you back, there's nothing you can do but praise God because you know where you were and you know the reason why you're established right now is because of him and he put your, he put your feet on a rock. Right now we're going to be going to Steve Dalton and the Leviticus Singers of Charlotte and they're going to be singing Silent Night, O Come Let Us Adore Him, and now behold the Lamb.
sing, Lisa. Solid night. his name on tonight. Oh, come, let us adore him. Sing, John. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Everybody, everybody. in this moment we recognize you as Christ the Lord and God we give you all the glory all the honor adoration and praise belongs to you hallelujah we worship you on tonight oh God for you alone are worthy of all of our praise hallelujah bless your name Jesus you're worthy of all the praise St. John thank you Father and we give you
one more time. We give you all one more time. We give you all. He's the precious Lamb of God. Our worship is unto you. So we send this message and we send and we give this offering unto you, Father. We love you on tonight and we celebrate you on tonight. Right where you are, you can just lift your hands, lift your arms, and lift your voice in worship as we say, now. God, I tell you what, I'm, I am a mess right now. God has just come in here and just messed me up <laughs> tonight. I tell you, and it's so good. I love when he just has his way and we can kind of forget about the program and <laughs> what, what's next because he, he just does what he wants to do, which is the way that I like it. Um, we had someone call, call in who... Uh, they said they are, oh, where is it at? They had called in to say that they were praying for Sybil and uh, that God blessed her and that 
God, may God use her even more with her testimony to save others. Yes, yes. yes. So we just praise God for that. Amen. We had another praise report come in. I tell you, let me tell you, there's, this is something special. All of this that's came in, I mean, I, I don't know if we've had wow. this many papers here at once on a night that I've been here. Wow. But this is what happens when God begins to move. Yes. There, is a, a, there, is, there is a movement that's happening right now and touching people at home. Yes. And they, they begin to expect yes. and expect that God's doing something and they want to get in right now because they know they begin to believe. And I tell you, God says this is what he wants to be normal. Absolutely. Mm. Uh, it, he wants this to healing and deliverance is supposed yes. to be common. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Things that are supernatural are supposed good. to be natural. That's good. <laughs> yes. Um, we had someone call and they said, I called to praise God. I too was addicted to drugs. God set me free. I have been drug free for two years and counting. God is good and he loves us as we are. Yeah. Praise wow. God for saving me. Uh, yes. Uh, we had uh, 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 another individual who called in and they were giving God praise because they had been delivered from drugs. Mm -hmm. And we have this one that I, I love to see. It's one of these blue papers. They had a habit with drugs. Sybil's uh, sharing her testimony tonight touched her, and she called in and said, I want to be saved. Oh, yes, I want to get yes, my life. Yes, yes. Yes. And so God she prayed glory. the prayer, oh. and she is in the kingdom of God now. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says that the angels of heaven are rejoicing. Yes, yes. yes. And so we just rejoice yes. with them. Uh, right now we have Steve Dalton and the Leviticus Singers of Charlotte. They are here on the set. And I have to tell you this. This is the third time you guys have been here. Sometimes you, you have someone come and you get to shouting and you feel the presence. You say, man, that was a good one. Yeah. And that happened the first time you guys came. <laughs> and then the second time you come, I shouted <laughs> and I felt the presence. And I said, man, that was good again. The third time has been better than the first and the second. Yes. <laughs> so you guys, you bring, you don't go there and, and just see what happens. You're bringing the presence of God yes. with you because you yes. can feel it. I mean, you can feel it, the anointing and you're singing. Man, it's so good to have you guys back on here. <laughs> Glad to see you. Yes. Uh, yes. So tell us what you guys have been doing lately. I know that Lisa's been writing. Yes. And I want to get to that in a yes. second. Yes. Praise God for that. Amen. Uh, yes. So yes. tell us what, what's been going on with you guys. Wow. Um, we have been doing um, a lot of traveling um, the entire nation. We've been almost everywhere besides the West Coast. Mm -hmm. But 2018, we're looking forward to that as well. Amen. So the Lord has, just, has really been enlarging our territories. Um, a lot of major events, um, and not just the regular church events too, mm -hmm. normal events to where we can bring Christ into those events and say the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I believe that's what he wants in this time and in this season for us. So yeah. we're humbled by everything that he's yeah. doing. Um, God is doing amazing things. As you say, we're gonna get to the book in a minute. So, um, so that's what he's doing in our, in our ministry in this season, in this mm -hmm. year. That is awesome. Yeah. Uh, have you guys been touched tonight by this? Yes. 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 How did that? How did that testimony impact you guys? Did you? I mean, I, know, I could hear you over here. You're with me. <laughs> Somebody want to share how that made you feel or how God was touching you? I saw you up there singing. And man, you got to crying. I mean, it, it was mm. so genuine. I just started crying, just feeling yeah. God. I know He's yeah. touched you. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm a living testament of God's goodness in the earth. Mm -hmm. And so everywhere I go, I make it my business to just simply be, be that example, to be that light. Mm -hmm. And when I can see somebody else shedding that light, it yes. does nothing but bring me joy. Yes. Yes. Joy is speakable yes. and full of glory because I see that we're living in a day where miracles still exist. Yes. And she was an example of a miracle mm. still here. Yes. So she's she's proof that God is still capable of doing the impossible wow. thing. Yes. Wow. Wow. Yes. 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 Good. Wow. Mm. So yes. yes. Steve, tell us uh, about the meaning behind the name, the sure. Leviticus Singers sure. of Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Well, um, the meaning is uh, real simple for us and uh, for those that don't know scripture-wise, base-wise, um, we know that the Levites had the assignment to take care of the temple, the maintenance of the temple, as well as to sing the songs or bring the songs, um, the worship into the temple. Mm -hmm. So that's what it uh, means to us. Um, when the Lord gave me the ministry, 
Um, I didn't just want another name. Because mm -hmm. I believe your name carries destiny and it yes. carries power. Mm -hmm. So um, I wanted to have something that will really represent us um, as being a Christ vessel, um, as well as uh, signifying um, that we are the Levites mm -hmm. uh, that carry his anointing to sing and to bring and to wish for his glory in the earth. Amen. Yes. So, well, Steve, can you introduce, because some folks may have not have seen you on here the times you've yes. been on here before, can you introduce us to uh, all the members of your group? Absolutely. Uh, to and my how, right. also let, let, let us know how long those members have been a part of the group. Sure. Um, to my right is my wife, Lisa. Uh, she's day one. Amen. <laughs> Beside her, <laughs> Beside her is uh, Shaquilla Baker. <laughs> uh, Beside her is Shaquilla Baker, and uh, she's uh, nine years in, I believe. Amen. <laughs> Beside her. <laughs> <laughs> Beside her is Jonathan Anderson, and Jonathan uh, has been connected with us and me and my wife for ever since we've been knowing him, and we've been knowing him for about 15 years, I believe. So he's, he's extended family on tonight, and to his right is uh, James uh, Hancock. Yes. Amen. And he's been connected for 10 years, mm -hmm. and to his right is Sydney Hancock. They are brother and sister, by the way. Yes. yes. <laughs> and uh, she's been connected for 10 years. And then there's also Kendra Washington. She's not here tonight. Mm -hmm. And she's been connected for nine years. Mm -hmm. Amen. So the Lord's been doing some things in our ministry. So tell us about how has the ministry ever been faced with some challenges internally? Yeah. Or do you, do you guys just like wake up and float around <laughs> and... <laughs> 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 Absolutely not. Until the we walk the walk. Not, 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 not. in the clouds. Uh, no, 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 absolutely. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Real life, um, real family. You know, and, and at the end of the day, um, we have disagreements like any family, as they are saying right now. But uh, because we know that our objective is Christ Jesus, um, and if he said, if I be lifted, I will draw, and he always draws us back yes, to him and to each other because that's what real love is mm -hmm. you know you have those things as siblings yes. you know yeah, those disagreements absolutely. but at the end of the day because we love each other <laughs> genuinely mm -hmm. yes uh, you know it's real true um, we, we invite each other to each other's homes uh, we share cars from time to time uh, so uh, so that's what the love and the disagreements have done for us <laughs> I was just talking with someone in the back and uh, they were have been asked to marry someone and they were wanting some advice on uh, what to talk to them about. And I was telling them, I said, you know, me and my wife were not strengthened by the good times. We were strengthened by the bad times. That's, that's overcoming that's them. A great word. You know, and so, uh, and, but I told him to tell them not to think that it's going to be a bed of roses, right. but to expect for those yes. bad times to come so yes. that they're not. Uh, it, it doesn't catch them off guard when they come because they're going to come. They're going to come. Oh, yeah. yes. Those things, the Bible says, many are the afflictions. Many are the afflictions. You deliver. You know, it's, it's, yes. it's, so that means yes. if there are going to be many afflictions, mm -hmm. it has to be because he said it. He said it. Then yeah. we need to be prepared for them so that we respond rather than to react. So, you know, That's I love what you said because you're going to have those struggles. You're going to have yes. those things, challenges internally. But you've already kind of set the foundation. You're able to process mm -hmm. through those mm -hmm. and grow stronger with every yeah. one of those. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, can you tell us, Lisa, a little bit about your book? And yes. When, when, how long have you been putting this together? What, how did God, when did He put it on your heart to begin to get this ready? Certainly. I um, started writing the prayer journal um, last summer. I started writing it. We were on the way home from church, and I told Stephen, um, that I needed to get a journal because I journal every day. And the Holy Spirit just said, write your own journal. You know, write the journey of your smile. What did you, I give you that helped you, like Miss Sybil, mm -hmm. come through and be delivered and be free and yes. have the joy of Jesus? So I began to write, and the Lord gave me uh, where to go to get the scriptures for the book and the things that the Lord gave me that helped me through my journey. Um, starting from childhood to adulthood. Um, and so I put the journey together and we release it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Yes. So uh, how can, if someone wants to get a copy of this, how can they get a copy? They can go to Amazon.com and type in Finding Peace Within the Prayer Journal. Amen. Uh, mm -hmm. So have you guys released any of your own music? 
Um, yes, we have. Uh, we have a current single that's out entitled uh, I Win the Remix mm -hmm. um, that has been doing great at radio over the last year. You know, just bringing us into different platforms and opportunities. Um, we have Christmas music out as well mm -hmm. entitled We Sung It Tonight, Jesus Christ is Born. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then uh, for 2018, around the springtime, we'll, we'll be releasing uh, new music, long awaited uh, music. So uh, we're excited. Yeah. So if someone wants to get in contact with you guys, and I'm sure they're going to want to get in contact, <laughs> how, how, how would they do that? Sure. Um, they can go to Facebook and uh, type in Leviticus Charlotte. Okay. Uh, they can go to Twitter, and they can type in uh, LSO Charlotte. Or the simple way I always tell people, just go to Google and type in Steve Dalton Leviticus Singers or Leviticus Singers, however you want to do it, and our information will mm -hmm. come up. Mm -hmm. We'll get information, email, phone number, the whole nine. Well, I tell you what, I, I'll, I'll be a, I'll be a witness. I've been in the presence three times, 100% of the times, three out of three. I tell you, the, the presence has failed, and God has really touched. Uh, we thank you guys so much for coming. We're, we're getting ready to go off the air. I'm going to hand you this. Will you pass it down to the end? We have so many prayer requests that have come in, wow. and wow. we're gonna. Each one of us is gonna have some of these, and we're gonna be as we go off the air. We're gonna pray over these. So we want you to know that we don't just get these and and just say thanks for sending sending them in. We're gonna. We actually we believe in prayer, and we're gonna pray over these right yes. now. And we thank you guys for watching. Steve, would you mind leading us in prayer over these? Yes. Hallelujah. Father God, we love you on tonight, God. We just honor your name on tonight, oh God. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for every request, oh God, that has been made known to you right now. Everyone here that has watched this program, oh God, Lord, those that have given their life to you, oh God, those that have called in and indicated, oh God, that they have the afflictions. But we know, God, you said that you will deliver. So we thank you for being a deliverer right now, even in advance. God, even when they see it in the trying times, oh God, we know that you said, oh God, that you will never leave them or forsake them right now in the name of Jesus. God, we pray for deliverance right now, oh God. Jesus. But we know that you are the deliverer right now, yes, oh God. Are, we know God. that you can clean them up in the name of Jesus, just like you did for us right now, oh God. Just like you did for Sybil, oh God, Lord. Her testimony, oh God, is true, oh God. For you said, oh God, that we're overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. So, God, Lord, as those are watching, even in the replay right now, let it go forth in the earth, oh God, that lives can forever be changed, oh God. So, even when they need a reminder, oh God, you can be the one that brings things back to their, rem their remembrance. For you said, this I recall to my mind. Therefore, oh God, we have the hope that it's because of your mercy that we are not consumed. So those that are listening, watching wherever they are right now, we count it done in the name of Jesus. Healing, deliverance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.